All right, welcome back everyone. We are here again in Hogwarts Legacy with Susie Q. And today, we have flying class, as soon as we find this key. Where are you going, up or down? Right over here. That wasn't too far. Now, can we get it first try? Nope. Close. Not quite though. I think they get faster as you get more coins. There we go. I don't even know how many coins that is. Is there anything else in Rebellion. here? There's something in here. What did we get in there? So let's head off to our flying class because I'm sure after that we should be able to get our broom so we can fly around places. I think we'll just walk there. Well, we didn't really find anything else, so I'm sure I'll have cut all that out and we'll just sit and wait for our flying lessons. I'm gonna run over here. I don't think I've gotten this flu flame. Yep. Who do you right. think will fall from their broom first? Everybody Probably grab me. a broom and we shall get started. If I can even fall from my broom. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now! Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. You gotta say it. How do you say it? Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Should have worn pants. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, Ground yourself at once. All right. Finally, Good. get to some flying. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. This will take some getting used to. This is brilliant. Even faster. Nice balance. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Alrighty. What's this more advanced exercise? Ah. This next set of rings will take you around the ground. What a view! Hello! Nice day for a flight! Brilliant! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Yeah, I definitely hope we can upgrade the speed, because this is not terribly quick. This is about the same speed as we run. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <sighs> Ooh, 
see if we can crash anything. Not that I really want to test it out. Suppose we don't have much choice. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? Sure. I'll say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. We're we throwing more the dung bombs at people. Is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. I thought we were nice flying to get high. Above it all, isn't it? This doesn't seem very high. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <sighs> How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. Ah. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Can't wait to get our hippogriff. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Well, I'm trying to hurry. Our burst of speed doesn't work for very long. Have you two been? Flying. Where else? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. I don't know. I don't think it was that great. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Yep. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right, we can finally buy our broom. Been waiting for this for quite a while. Now we just need to get Alohomora, and we'll be all set. So it's off to Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade, here I come. Yeah, hopefully we've got enough money for a broom. Sebastian Sallow. Demanding delivery. Ghost of our love. No, oh, that's right. We should probably do that one first. But let's get our broom. Because getting our broom might even help with that quest. 
Revelio. Spintwitch's Sporting Needs. Run by the amiable Albie Weeks, this shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albie himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Uh, that must be the uh, modifications we can make. Anything else? There's a chest. What's in the chest? Oh. Junk. Come on, not junk, not junk, not junk. Junk. Well, they're at least cooler looking. Give me a broom. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Which one's the fastest? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. All right. What are we going to get? What can we get? Oh, they're not nearly as much as I thought they would be. So the U Weaver. Ember Dash. Hogwarts House Broom. Boring. Moon Trimmer. Wind Wisp. They're all the same price, they just look a little different. That one's made from ash. Unique woven design. Stylish broom with a light touch. Perfect broom for those with fiery temperament. Hmm. Well, I think we'll go with the moon trimmer. Since You'll be thrilled with that, that broom. Much. I promise you. All right. So how do we upgrade it? Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sure. sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Yep, that's me, Ravenclaw. Imelda Reyes? Albie Weeks sent me. 
Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Uh, sure. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Squirrely. Oh, those things give you a speed boost. No, oh, I guess I shouldn't hold the speed the whole time. I feel like for turns, it's helpful to not be going so fast. Whoa. Definitely passed whatever that dummy on a broom was. I'm guessing that's you know, the record of her flying. Like I got it. Ugh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ah. Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Yeah, I don't want I your don't respect, want respect Slytherin. from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Turn to the podium to challenge other racers and advance your way through the ranks of the leaderboard. Or return to Albi. I'm going to return and see if we get any upgrades for that. Because 
I do love an upgrade. Yeah, how I fed. And I imagine if we have upgrades, well, that was a little great glitchy. Not if we upgrade, then perhaps oh, we'll back. do better With in the challenges. To report, I hope. Well, yeah. What are we looking for today? I wasn't trying to buy stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I must have touched the touchpad. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. So we don't get How an upgrade to yet. the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. All right. Well, let's head off to class then. We'll probably find Sebastian at his usual spot near the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Our Professor Weasley has requested I meet her in the seventh floor corridor of the Astronomy Tower. This is an odd location for a meeting. I wonder what she wants. We get Conjuring Spell, Evanesco, this one, Confringo, hmm, I think we'll do this one first, because that has more rewards. Alrighty. Go up or down? I guess down, because the dots are going down. Seven more keys somewhere. Aha. Begin. Professor Weasley? Somewhere away from prying eyes. And there it is. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Who doesn't like a good magic room? What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by Floating walking candles. past that bit of wall focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? 
The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Well, that's why we have magic. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. The spells are definitely getting trickier. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. We have to assign it first. Let's go this one. And this one. So we already have. Yeah, we already have Asio on that one. Nope. This one. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Yeah, I have quite a bit of Moonstone. Those crystals I've been Where grabbing. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? How do we cast these floating candles? Because I, I need that for something is that else. Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> okay. Dear me. Can't you keep it Rebellion. down? Rebellion. Some of us are trying to rest. Well, some of us are trying to explore. So there. We get moonstone every time we disappear stuff. Yeah. What's this for? We're supposed to climb up it. I don't think we can get up there. Drink some, you know, hundred-year-old tea. Why not? Revelio. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not. I thought bigger knights than you. That guy could not do much. I room thought I needed a bath. More floating lamps. But how do we cast the floating candles? If that is How does anyone to. other than a house elf manage to get around in here? With magic. Um, there. Didn't want to target it, did it? What was that? A key. Is was that, a, that key? a golden snitch? It is a snitch. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd it go? I guess we gotta see it again. Can you Accio a snitch? I figured they'd be warded against that. Why 
is all the gear we're getting lately? Not as good as what we've already got. I hope that house elf can find us in here. House elves can find anybody anywhere. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. I don't think it changed while you're in it. Given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You unlock the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. That's handy since we have one item. I wonder if... Oh, it just does it. Okay. That's not as impressive as I had hoped. Tanned cloak. It's that one. Well then, we just have to wait. Oh man, we're almost there too. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay, what else? Mm, nothing in it. So we just gotta talk to her. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. 
They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay. Conjuring spell. Assign new spells. But well, we've got that whole other area that we haven't even used. Yep, we already did that one. So this one, we'll put it on X, why not? So then, I guess right over here. Incendio! Whoa. That was the wrong spell. This one. Items used to brew potions. Sure, we'll put our potions thing here. Answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Alrighty. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Quest complete. The room required. All right. Got the flu flames. Well, let's go ahead and just learn this other transfiguration. I'm spell. ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much do we need? Oh, we have enough. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor?
I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke. Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks... Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Cool moonlit. Something natural. Dark and mysterious. Uh... Sure, cool I moonlit. would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Mm. I thought it was fine the other way. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Is this the vivarium? A sitting area. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Okay, well, I guess we're probably going to leave it there, although we are going to put on our level locked cloak. Well, no longer level locked. Was it a cloak? I think it was a cloak. Because, yep, well appointed. How do we apply traits? I still don't understand. Do we even have traits yet? Go through our talents. I feel like talents and traits are not the same thing. Oh well. Let's just put it on. 
and deal with trades later. Wish this one had some trades. I'll have to go and sell stuff again next time. But yes, that's going to be it for this part. So I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, and you've made it to this part 10 now, uh, please go ahead and subscribe since you must be liking what I'm doing. But like the video, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.